up a cinema show gun here and I feel like everyone is biting their tongue when it comes to this Carly Russell situation including myself but look I'm just going to be completely honest with you all things are not looking good for Carly Russell right now in fact things are looking absolutely horrible for Carly Russell right now for one, her job released a statement earlier that makes me believe that maybe something went down at Carly's job before she went missing. And then her mother released a statement doubling down on these claims about an abductor. But she also admitted that the family lied about the whole Red Roof Inn situation. So... That's not a good look. And now, the Hoover Police Department just released a new statement. And this is the icing on the cake, if you ask me. At this point, <clears throat> at this point, after you hear this statement, if you still believe Carly Russell's story, you, my friend, are a conspiracy theorist. The Hoover Police Department just let everyone know that Carly Russell went to Target and she stopped up on snacks before she went on vacation. I'm sorry, a mix up of words. My mistake. She stopped up on snacks before she went missing. And it just so happens that the snacks were nowhere to be found when law enforcement arrived. So right now, if you believe Carly Russell, you have to believe that a kidnapper waited on the side of the road in the middle of the night, not knowing who would pull over, but they chose to use a child as bait. And then they kidnapped Carly in front of hundreds of cars that were passing by. They kidnapped her, snatched her wig off, made sure they stole her Cheetos. You know, they got the hot Cheetos, the Takis, the pickle, the Funyuns. They took all that stuff too. They made sure that they snatched off Carly's wig. They put her phone and all the traceable items away. They gathered up their little toddler Oh, that sweet little baby boy that they always use to reel these women in. They gathered up their toddler and they gathered up Carly and her boatload of snacks and the to-go food as well. Oh, Carly had a lot of food that went missing. They gathered all of it and disappeared within three minutes. Sounds kind of unbelievable to me. If you believe that, I think you're the actual conspiracy theorist. It's kind of funny how... You know, people like me, we've been labeled conspiracy theorists for the past couple of days for having common, common sense. In fact, I was called racist by multiple people for questioning the details of this story. But now, huh, I wonder who's the real racist. Maybe the people that try to squash any conversation about this story. Maybe the people that were trying to protect the narrative for a certain reason. I wonder why. But, you know, <laughs> I could go all day. Let's go ahead and read this police statement. <clears throat> the investigation into the Carly Russell case continues as detectives are working to determine what happened from the time prior to her 911 call Thursday night until she returned home on foot Saturday night. Detectives spoke to Carly very briefly upon her return home and are waiting for her to be made available to obtain more detailed statements about the sequence of events during that time frame. While we are not in a position to reveal all of the information that we have gathered to this point, we can talk about some of the details that we have not previously discussed. After leaving the colonnade, Carly went to Target on Highway 280 and purchased some snack food type items. These items 
were not located in the vehicle or with her cell phone and wig at the scene of her disappearance. The Hoover Police Department has not located any evidence of a toddler walking down the interstate. Oh, nor did we receive any additional calls about a toddler walking down the interstate, despite numerous vehicles passing through that area as depicted by the traffic cam surveillance video. Detectives have obtained surveillance video from Carly's neighborhood, which shows her walking down the sidewalk alone prior to her arrival at her residence. Fire department audio traffic obtained by several media outlets shows that medics were dispatched to her residence on an unresponsive but breathing person call. That was the term used in the initial dispatch of the Hoover Fire Department to the residence. And the information about her condition was simply a dispatcher relaying information from a 911 caller that told the emergency communicator. When first responders arrived on scene, they found Miss Russell conscious and speaking, and she was transported in that condition. She was later treated and released from a local hospital. Numerous evidentiary items are still being evaluated, and those items are key in the process of determining exactly what took place in the approximately 49 hours that Carly was missing, but also what took place prior to her disappearance. This release contains all of the information the Hoover Police Department is able to provide at this time. We understand that there are numerous rumors and misinformation making the rounds on both social media and traditional media. While we understand the public's interest in this incident, <clears throat> we must maintain the integrity of the case. Thus, we are limited in what information or statements we can release or confirm at this time. The Hoover Police Department will hold a press conference tomorrow, at which time we will be able to release additional information. The press conference will take place at the Frank and Pam Bearfield Training Center, located at 850 Municipal Drive, Hoover, Alabama, at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. In. So over the last few days while covering this case, I had to come to the realization that a lot of people do not know how to read between the lines. Don't get me wrong. You know, you can at times read too much into things, but I believe being able to read between the lines is crucial to your survival at this point, honestly, just in life in general. It, it's a life skill that you really need to learn if you don't already. What the Hoover Police Department is doing right now is they're letting Carly and Carly's family know that, hey, we know that this is a lie. Okay, that's what's happening here. They're letting them know, hey, we know these details. We're going to continue to release more details slowly. So go ahead and tell the truth so we don't have to. They're trying to be easy on Carly's family. They're not saying too much but they're saying just enough to know or just, they're saying just enough so that Carly and whoever knows what happened here knows that they've been caught. Okay. You see that they straight up said there's no evidence that a toddler even existed. No one saw this toddler. There's no evidence that a toddler was ever there. You see, they mentioned these snacks for a reason. It's not like, hey, we're going to update the world and tell everyone that Carly bought some cheese its and some Pringles. No, they're not doing that for no reason. OK, read between the freaking lines. They're releasing this information about snacks to let Carly know, hey, we know you made some stops that no one mentioned yet. And hey, we know that you bought some snacks that just so happened to not be in your vehicle. We don't believe that human traffickers decided to take your snacks when they kidnapped you. And we have it on camera that no one else went into your vehicle, but you left your vehicle. All of it's on camera, ladies and gentlemen. 
We all know this. No one pulled up and snatched Carly Russell up. And on camera, there's no evidence that there was anyone else there or a toddler. Law enforcement is letting them know, trying to be easy on them, letting them know that they know a lot more than what they are letting on. I'm telling you right now, the statement is not even one fourth of what these law enforcement officers already know. If you know how to read between the, between the lines, you know them talking about these snacks is letting her know, hey, we know you stocked up on snacks and then you ran off, okay? And then they talk about the condition that Carly was in when they arrived. They would not even talk about this unless they wanted the public to know that, hey, Carly was not in a bad condition because it's floating out there that Carly was unresponsive and all of this other nonsense. That was all a lie. And law enforcement lets y'all know that, hey, that's what they said on the phone call. They're going ahead and clearing things up for y'all. Hey, Carly Russell's family on the phone call said that she was in shock and that she was unresponsive. But when we arrived, she was okay and she was talking. We took her to the hospital real quick and then we released her. They're also letting you know, hey, Carly, we have you on camera walking through your neighborhood. Okay, so more than likely, if they have her on camera walking through her neighborhood, they may have her on camera getting dropped off or they'll probably maybe have her on camera, you know, somehow making her way to the neighborhood. They're not releasing all of their information, just like they didn't release a lot of information yesterday, but they're releasing enough to, to go ahead and tip the people off that know what's happening here, that, hey, we know, and maybe you should just tell the truth. Maybe you shouldn't be going on the Today Show and, you know, allowing your parents to continue keeping up this story that's only going to make y'all look worse in the long run, okay? Learn how to read between the lines, folks, because if you knew how to read between the lines, you would realize that all of these statements that are being made, there is a lot to them. Regardless if you see it or not, there is a lot to all of these statements that have been released. And that's why people like me have been extremely, extremely, you know, are, <clears throat> that's why people like me have been asking these questions and we've been raising our eyebrows. Let's just put it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, in my opinion, Carly was not alone in this situation. I believe that someone had to be waiting on the other side of those little woods waiting for her to pick her up because I don't think that she escaped on foot in a matter of minutes and disappeared to wherever she disappeared to, possibly the Red Roof Inn. But let's not talk about that because, you know, we're not allowed to talk about the Red Roof Inn. And, you know, Carly Russell's family might lie on you if you do mention the Red Roof Inn. It's already happened before. But... This is the facts, folks. These are the facts. So at this point, if you're looking at all of this evidence, you're looking at all of these statements, and you still believe Carly Russell, you're kind of a conspiracy theorist. You have to believe that this elaborate plan was concocted, you know, by someone on the side of the road that had access to a child that no one seemed to be able to see. There's no evidence of a missing child. Law enforcement isn't looking for a missing child. You have to believe that they sat there and somehow managed to get away with Carly in a matter of minutes. And I guess they must have gone through her car and took snacks out of her vehicle, even though her vehicle is on traffic cam and there's no evidence of that. So you literally have to believe that a invisible midget toddler and a, an invisible kidnapper took Ky um, Carly. That's what you would have to believe at this point, literally. There's no other way around it. We can sit here, we can beat around the bush, we can play these little games, you can accuse people of being this and being that for asking questions. The reality is it looks like this was one big fat freaking lie. And I think that most people are tired of playing stupid and, you know, walking on pins and needles when it comes to this case. I know I am. And after this case, I'm going to reevaluate how I cover things in the future because I really don't want to sit here and play stupid with anyone, which is what we've all been doing for the last few days. Because, I mean, did it really take all of this 
for us to come to, a, to, the, to the conclusion that something wasn't right here. But at the end of the day, we still don't know exactly what happened. Maybe by some odd, odd, some miracle, some odd chance, she is telling the truth. And hopefully we find out about that tomorrow in the press conference. But for those of you all who have been attacking people over the last couple of days for asking questions, make sure you don't disappear tomorrow after the press conference because I want to have a conversation with you all after that. Let me know your thoughts about all of this, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I'll be seeing you all and talking to you all very soon.